Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session, I would like to present uh, IHELT, the Invisible Heritage Analysis and Technology Digital Platform. Uh, my name is Kiriakos Dumbas, and uh, I'm a web developer at the Cyprus Institute. So a few words about the project. Uh, the IHELT project, um, uh, the IHELT project goal was to uh, record and preserve uh, a set of uh, uh, cultural heritage sites in the Trodos region, uh, more specifically a set of 10 uh, churches that belong to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Uh, as part of that work, which was starting and analyzing uh, the structures and the uh, surroundings of those structures, was to uh, record uh, each, uh, each site using um, 3D laser scanning and creating 3D models of each cultural site. Part of that project, uh, after creating the models, was to uh, disseminate those results to the general public uh, to various uh, stakeholders. In order to do that, uh, we had to create a web platform to publish those results to the, uh, to the general audience. Uh, the idea behind the platform was that we wanted to serve the point clouds we're going to create during the analysis of the sites uh, so that it could be used from relevant stakeholders, which wasn't just the researchers in our institution. We want the public authorities, the archaeological department, uh, other archaeologists or artists that are doing uh, research or they're interested on those very important cultural sites in the region, we want to be able to uh, see the models and uh, interact with them. At the same time, we want to give them a set of uh, tools uh, to help them analyze and understand uh, the cultural sites better. Uh, finally, we wanted to create a way uh, that non-technical people, uh, people that don't understand 3D modeling and advanced 3D tools, uh, to take advantage of all the above. Uh, we wanted an easy way for non-researchers to actually be able to uh, see and uh, interact with the results of our analysis. Now, some background information, uh, probably everyone here knows that to uh, the, put a point cloud uh, 3D model on the web, it's a not and it's a feature. Naturally, a point cloud uh, uh, 3D model is very huge and you usually need specialized so software to actually see. Uh, uh, an open source project called pot uh, can feel rescue. Uh, that's not something we build, that's something we uh, we gener uh, generously found online, uh, allows you to transform a last file into what it's been called the pottery project format, uh, which then uh, it's a technology that can actually serve a point cloud over the web. Uh, pottery has a comprehensive documentation online. It allows you to generate uh, a pottery uh, model using a tool they provide. And then it gives instructions how to set up a local web server to actually see the model, ways to modify the output, which is usually an HTML file with JavaScript, uh, how to add properties and add annotations, all of that using JavaScript, and then finally deploy that HTML model online so people can see. The problem with that approach is that that's only half the way. After you get the model, uh, you still need a solid understanding of web technologies to actually put that model somewhere publicly on the web. You need to set up a web server, you need to understand HTML, JavaScript. Uh, also, every time you need a change, you need to go through the whole redeployment phase. It, it's very hard to maintain. We wanted to solve for that. We wanted to uh, find a way for uh, us to actually put the models online much easier. Here is where the iHad platform comes in. So what is iHad platform? The iHad platform is a web application that uh, you deploy once, it lives on the web, and by using that, it, it allows you to actually uh, host uh, the, your 3D models and serve them on the public web, along with a number of uh, uh, interactive tools, some of them from uh, Pro3, some of them developed specifically for this platform. Uh, it also allows you to configure your projects dynamically and instantly see the changes both in your machine and uh, serve them to the general public. I'm going to proceed directly to a live demo of the platform to help you understand uh, what this is all about. 
So let's start by creating a new visualization and see how things work. Uh, start a new visualization, go to the uh, uh, iHeart platform, and you just go to the interactive ad visualization form. Uh, what this uh, administration panel allows you to do is that you can define a name for your visualization and you can add a number of point clouds to your visualization. You can support more than one, you need at, you need at least one for the visualization to make sense. Uh, the only thing you need to provide here is pretty much a link to your to the output of the quarterly converter, along with a name, um, and then just hit save. And that instantly makes your visualization accessible on the World Wide Web. Uh, additionally, from the 3D point model, we also developed uh, certain other features like an image gallery, uh, which here you can upload a number of images, uh, along with adding georeferenced images that are images that you want to show inside the 3D, uh, the 3D plane. Uh, so le let's uh, see how that works. I'm going to show you an existing uh, 3D model that is already populated. It's the Church of Stavrudo Yasmati. Uh, it's a church that is compromised from three different point clouds, three different 3D models. And we already uploaded a set of uh, images that uh, depict the church since 1940s, along with a few georeferenced photos. So let's see the actual 3D model. Here is uh, what you get the traditional uh, pod reviewer, uh, along with the point clouds we just loaded. First, let's uh, talk a bit about configuring this visualization. Uh, in traditional pottery, uh, in traditional pottery project, to configure visualization, you need to open the HTML file and pretty much add JavaScript to actually do a number of things like add visualizations or change settings. In the iHeart platform, all of that has been done way much easier. You just need to open the, the model, modify the things you need, and the only thing you need to do is just hit save using the administration save button here on the left, and the iHeart platform is gonna keep the settings of your model. So next time you reload, the model is gonna be exactly like you configured it to be. That allows you to add measurements, add, visual, add annotations, all of that very easily on a visualization, and then you save it uh, and it's ready uh, to showcase. Now, uh, aside customizing your visualization, let's see some of the custom tools we developed for the iHeart platform. Uh, one thing we wanted to show was uh, we had multiple point clouds for the same uh, cultural site. So we created the concept of an explosion. The explosion tool allows you to pretty much explode the, the dynamic, uh, the interactive scene with the bar. Okay. Uh, you can configure this quite easily. You just need to define where each model moves uh, when you move the, the bar, and it just changes how the explosion happens. It's very easy, and when you are done, you just hit save, and that's uh, uh, done. Now, the next tool we created was the gallery. You saw the images uploaded. Now, the amazing part of the gallery is that it allows you to orient each image with the model. So we get to actually see the image on top of the uh, actual model and see how they correlate together. At the same time, there is a handle that allows you to switch between viewing the model and the image to actually help you visualize both at the same time. The orientation happens using your traditional um, pottery movement tools. And when you are done, you just save the orientation on the right uh, and the Aha platform keeps it uh, to view. Uh, finally, uh, I'll show you the GPR images. Uh, these are georeferenced images that we, uh, we wanted to add on the plane they get added inside the 3D scene. And the only thing you need to do to actually add them is you add the image and you provide the coordinates, the actual coordinates, uh, the GPS coordinates for the area the image represents. It allowed, you, it allowed us to put images depicting the underground areas of the churches. Uh, that's about the project. Um, I would like to add a uh, note that this is, has been built as a development framework. Uh, it's been all, it has been built on Django, Vue.js, 3.js, and Docker. And uh, it, it 
the, there is built to provide a set of JavaScript modules that somebody can easily extend to add more functionality than we plan to add more features on the platform. Uh, there is already a ready-made build pipeline and uh, the platform has been uh, configured to allow easy deployment using Docker. The whole project is open source and you can find it on GitHub and anyone interested can ping me uh, for more details. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, see you on the questions.